So, number six, multi-sensory experience multiplies learning. Okay, there's a reason we have five senses. Each one of our senses has a limited amount of information that it can process at any given time. So if we're asking our kids to learn about something solely by reading about it, reading print, their cognitive capacity for how much knowledge they can process is limited by just how much they can process uh, visually. So if you start to add sound, we've now kind of duplicated the amount of information that can be processed through print and what they're hearing. And if, if we add a tactile experience where they can actually touch and feel what they're learning about, have a hands-on experience, we're now really multiplying how much information they can, they can process. Um, so the best kind of learning, you know, what you know the best, what you remember most are your experiential is learning. Is any experience you've had, you're going to remember better than anything you read. Now we obviously can't make everything that we need our kids to know. I mean, they're growing up in a very complex world. It's necessary for them to learn about a lot of things that they can't directly experience, but we at least need to recognize the power of experiential learning and re realize that in homeschooling, kids have a lot more opportunity for experiential learning. I mean, this is what I think is one of the greatest deterrents of a conventional setting is we decontextualized learning and we take kids out of the real world and we put them inside you know a classroom and limit them to sitting in a desk for seven hours confined uh, to these four walls and then we try to teach them about the real world instead of allowing them to be out in the real world with homeschooling we can actually go out and have more real world experiences you know I like to give the example of you know if I read a book about Africa I can learn some things about Africa. If I watch a video about Africa, I'm going to learn a lot more about Africa. If I go to Africa, I'm going to just, it's not even comparable what I now know and have learned about Africa from going there that a video or a book could just never duplicate. So how much, how can you bring more of a multi-sensory experience into your classroom, into your program, into your homeschool projects, field trips, group work, uh, putting on plays, doing science experiments, you know, uh, simulating real life um, wherever you can, and realizing you have to slow down the curriculum to do this. If, if you just make kids read things, Yes, it'll look like they're getting through more stuff, but what you need to know is that they're not learning more stuff. They're going to learn more stuff if you slow down what you, you have less that you're asking them to master, but you're presenting, giving the opportunity to learn it in a multi-sensory way and to practice you, you with it. It's why sports is such a powerful metaphor for learning. It's why we can take kids and they can become the best athlete they're capable of while they're growing up because they get to actually experience sports. You know, they don't learn about what professional baseball players do. They get to actually do the same stuff that professional baseball players do. We just kind of shrink the playing field and we modify the rules, but they're essentially playing the same game. 